All right, so today I'm gonna to change uh, gear lube in my 1995 Alpha 1 Gen 2 uh, stern drive. It's a Mercruiser. And what you wanna do is go to the store and grab some gear lube. This is what I used last time, this Mercury brand stuff. I just had one laying around, um, but the boat store isn't open. So I went to Walmart and I just grabbed um, these right here. Same stuff, who cares? I'm not really an oil snob. And then I couldn't find my pump, so I bought this guy. Um, as well, they're all kind of the same. Basically, they mount onto the top of this bottle so that you can pump the oil into the stern drive. The other thing you're gonna need is this larger screwdriver to undo the two drain plugs. There's one at the bottom and then like a vent or like a fill hole type kind of thing at the top that I'll go through the procedure here in a minute. But anyway, you wanna lower your stern drive, get it down, you know, close to the ground, about like how this one is. Obviously, don't touch the ground and get a drain pan underneath that thing. Probably the next step you want to do is take your gear lube that you're going to use and put it in some warm water. Try and get this heated up. If you can leave it outside, let it get warm. That's what you want because it'll make it flow a little better through this pump, not be quite so thick. Next, you want to come down to the bottom of the stern drive right on the back side. I'm on the port side. And you want to take a flathead screwdriver and undo this plug right here. If it gives you trouble, use like an impact um, screwdriver if you don't know what that is just google it real quick but um, you don't want to strip these out and while that's draining uh, to get it to go a little faster you can come up to this oil vent this is on the top top side of the uh, stern drive and basically you want to open this guy too if you can't get this top vent open, uh, you won't be able to fill this, so it's something to check before you get it way drained out. All right, and then finally, I'm gonna come under the hood here and open the reservoir lid as well. Okay, so the draining has slowed to a crawl here. It took about, I would say, 10, 15 minutes to get it all drained out. Now I'm gonna take my pump and attach it to one of the bottles of fluid and that actual pump attaches to the threads right here in this um, drain hole. So you can actually pump all the fluid up through the bottom of this. There's a little passageway right through here. It'll come up all the way till it starts pooping out right here. And then we'll keep going from there. All right, well, the threads aren't perfect here. It basically, I don't know if they're not the same thread or what the deal is, but it works if you just kind of cross thread it on there. And then this guy is the right adapter to get on the bottom of the stern drive. So you'll have to spin that on there and thread it in. All right, so I got my uh, pump attached here to my new quart of gear lube. You can see a little bit's drooling back yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and start pumping this thing and we'll see what happens. There's the fresh stuff and we're on our way. Okay, now I got gear lube to the top here, so that means I need to go to the bottom plug and actually replace the drain plug so that we hold all the fluid in from the bottom coming up. And then I'm gonna reattach my yellow fitting right here in this oil vent. And I'm gonna push um, uh, oil back up into the reservoir. If you have an Alpha, uh, Alpha 1 Gen 1, then you're done. Basically, it doesn't have a reservoir up top. All you do is put the cap on here, it's full, and you're done. Um, but in this instance, I have an Alpha 1 Gen 2, and it has a reservoir up under the, under the hood, basically. So I'm going to do this little uh, plug switch around right quick. Okay, so now that the reservoir is filled up top, it overran a little bit. Basically, we stopped pumping and, and more was carrying up the hose into the reservoir, so it's a little bit overfilled. But basically, what I'm gonna do is remove my, my line here and quick put the plug back in its place. So it's a pretty easy job. Um, any you know do-it-yourselfer type person can tackle it. Um, when you're draining your uh, gear lube out, if it's really like white or um, very very light colored spearmint type color, maybe if it has just straight water in it as well, like it's separated oil and water, you'll want to troubleshoot this a little further. Don't just go throw um, new fluid in. I mean you can do that, but um, you might tear something up. 
basically what you want to get is one of these tools like this. This is a pressure tester for your lower unit. Basically what you do is you thread this in right here at this little uh, drain plug on the bottom, the bottom one and you can apply um, via this Schrader valve right here, you can apply like 10 PSI, a very, very low amount of pressure. And you can let that sit overnight or something like that and if the pressure bleeds down then you'll know you have some sort of leak and it could be various hoses, seals, o-rings and so on and so forth but basically you know then that you have some sort of issue but if your fluid comes out and everything looks good then I wouldn't wor really worry about it too much um, if you want to see a video where I use this device um, go ahead and hit up the video that I have about checking um, pressure checking your lower unit um, and if not thanks for watching and I hope you have a bunch of great miles on your boat